Breaches are an issue in Inazuma 11 Victory Road. If you don't know what a breach is, it's basically like a critical hit in Pokemon, except way more powerful. Every time you shoot with your Tension Gorge above approximately 30%, there's a 10% chance that you will completely ignore the opposing keeper's KP and get an instant goal. If that sounds powerful, it's because it is. But what makes this even worse is that multiple players have passives which increase your chance of getting a breach. And I have a few on my team. And when I was recording a members only video earlier today, well, this happened. That should be an absolute goal. There we go, look at that breach, look at that breach. I'm testing my luck. Oh, I mean, Jack got in the way, but I'm testing my luck. Oh, I'm testing my luck and it's working. And then we're going to go for a just normal shot because you never know. In this age, you actually don't know. Oh my God. Breaching is fun and all, but it never beats the sensation of just simply seeing a cool move. Though, to be fair, it is a pretty damn good sensation. Like, who cares? Like, what's the neat... Oh my god. And so I've decided to try and make the most breachy team imaginable in Inazuma 11 Victory Road and see just how many I can get in one match. Alright, this is what we're rocking. Gazelle, team's breach rate is plus 20%. Bialon, team's breach rate is plus 20%. And when even or trailing in goals, team's breach rate is plus 30%. Torch, team's breach rate plus 30%. Uh, Fey Rune, team's breach rate plus 30%. Bomber, uh, when even or trailing in goals, team's reach rate is plus 30%. Byron Love, when even or trailing in goals, team's reach rate is plus 20%. And then the defenders, they don't have any breach ones. They're, they're just kind of here to look cool. But as you can see, this front six is very breachy. And I want to see just how many breaches we can get with all of them on the field. And so as you can see, when we go to our team parameter sheet, we, our breach rate is plus 100%. Now, this doesn't mean that we have a 100% chance of getting a breach. Rather, it means that, at least from how I understand it, basically, so the 10% chance of, of getting a breach, it's plus 100% of that. So that is now up to uh, 20%. So we have a 20% chance of getting a breach, I think. I also didn't realize the Wits also does the same thing as uh, Bomber. So when even or trailing in goals, team's breach rate is plus 20%. So there we go. There's another player now who increases our breach rate. So as you can see, when even or trailing in goals, our breach rate is plus 100%, which means that in total, it's plus 200%. But obviously, that's only when we're drawing or behind. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this team, put them up against Alias Masters, uh, Godhood, obviously, the best team in the game. And we're going to see if we get any breaches. It would be really funny if after doing a match where I wasn't trying to get breaches and I got five, if I do this match and, do you know what I mean, don't get any breaches. So there is also a super tactic called Explosion, which for 30 seconds increases your breach rate by 200% and your attack by 50%, which is also kind of crazy. But all right, let's just dive into the match and let's see what happens. So we're going to bring the ball over to Wits. Obviously, these players are quite low level so we might not get as many shots off for instance as we would have wanted yeah i mean stuff like that might happen but you never know oh never mind Feyrune is actually a god bring it over to torch and let's just let's take a shot let's see what happens it obviously loses a bit of power and okay first shot not a breach that's fine we're actually going to get the chance to go for another shot i mean this might just go in oh and it's a breach there we go there we have it. First one, absolutely smashed. Now, obviously, our breach rate has gone down as a result of no longer trailing in goals. Though, I guess if we wanted to, to really test this theory and see just how many breaches we can get, we should let them score, I, I guess. So, I guess we'll try to take the ball or not. But we... Oh, it's going to be hard to let them score, isn't it? This, ge this game is actually really hard to concede. Because, I, you know what I mean, Mark's so powerful. Who knows, maybe they'll get a breach. And that'll be quite funny. Uh, I guess we'll just try and catch it. Uh, they didn't. But then we'll just uh, we'll just do a bit of, a bit of that. <laughs> so now, now we're even again. Okay, so now we're even. We're through on goal again. We're going to go for another shot. Let's see. Is this going to get through? Wormhole? Please, it'd be so funny. Oh my god! And it's a breach. And there we go. We're 2-1 up. 
Well, this is obviously the strategy then. If you're ever online, just keep doing this. And we've conceded a second goal, magically, somehow. Don't know how this happened, but we are out even again. So if I just give the ball to Torch, just rush up the pitch. Oops, okay, I didn't mean to do that. But Bailon has won it quite high up. So we can just go for a regular shot. 330, shouldn't go in, and it doesn't. He pulls off the, the save, which there's also a chance of that happening, which I'm pretty sure doesn't reduce his KP at all then. So he got a bit lucky there. But we're going to try again, just go for a regular shot. And it again wasn't a breach. All right, looks like the luck's starting to even itself out. But you know what? Why not? Slap in another one. Let's see what happens. All right, not another breach. And it's half time, 2-2. Two, two. We've got two breaches so far, which, to be fair, is pretty decent luck. If you were to get two breaches, that would be kind of crazy. Okay, they've actually activated Explosion, which massively increases their breach rate. So I guess we'll see now whether or not that's going to result in... Well, I mean, we, we should theoretically stop this. So... But it doesn't matter because they get the breach. So there you go. And now we're 3-2 behind, which means that even if we do score, we'll, we won't have to concede an own goal now. So let's see. Can we pull out the win? You know what? Let's do that. Let's. Oh my god, Torch. Let's aim for a 4-3 win. Aphrodite wins it. Gets the ball over to Bialong. Gets it to Gazelle. Gazelle can't quite get there in time. Oh, hi. Uh, oh. Fair. Fair. Bring it over to Aphrodite. Doesn't win it. If you get the breach, I'm going to cry. Please don't. Pull up a castle wall. Pull up another one. What are you going to do? Atomic flare? That's fine. That's so fine. If they get the breach, that's so funny. That'd be so funny. There's no way. Oh my god. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. There's no way. There's simply no way. Torch. To buy along. Whack it in. See what happens. It obviously bounces. Oh, wait. Well, well then, piss off. You, you're not helping my experiment here, Clear. Okay, buy along. Beautiful. Go for the normal shot. And bloody hell. Give me a breach, please. Okay, gazelle. Let's go for a regular shot. Come on. No. Okay, they're go also going for another shot again. There's no way. There's no chance. Absolutely no chance. There's no chance. There's no chance this breaches. I'm telling we we got so like we've we've gotten so few breaches in the last bit in the last like few minutes or whatever. That there is simply 591. We should be fine. There's no chance. Okay, sick. I was gonna say, if that does, okay. Full time. What did we learn? Well, it ended 4-2 to them. And that's because they got two breaches. And all, we also got two. So all the goals scored in this match, aside from obviously the own goals, were breaches, which is crazy. And what this shows is there is a genuine good chance of them happening, like a really good chance. But it's not like it's guaranteed or anything. It, so what I wanted to answer with this video is, is like the, the whole breach mechanic and you being able to increase in the passives and stuff, is it broken? And whilst I don't think it's broken, I also don't think it's fair. I don't think that we can't, like, I don't think we should be able to sit here, increase that breach rate, and do matches where every goal is a breach. Because then that defeats the point of the game's mechanics in the first place of whittling that keeper down. We didn't do that. We did not whittle the keeper down. They did not whittle me down in the slightest. So in that sense, it completely goes against the rest of the game's mechanics to the point where, no, I don't think you should be able to increase the breach rate with passives. I think that's crazy. Like, I think it's absurd. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a fan of the, of the mechanic in the slightest, but I am curious what you guys think, especially after seeing all of this. So let me know down in the comments below. I also want to shout out Shavi LF, who made a fantastic video on breaches that you absolutely should check out. That will be the first link in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.